The third game of the June 2013 LSAT states a company operates vending machines in four schools, Ferndale, Gladstone, Hayford, and Isley. The company delivers juices in one of its two trucks and snacks in the other truck. Each week, exactly one delivery of juices and exactly one delivery of snacks is made to each school, subject to the following conditions. All right, so first let's draw what we already know here. And again, we have two trucks, juice and snacks, making deliveries to one of four schools. And we have each week exactly one delivery of juices and one delivery of snacks. So our setup is going to be as follows. We have our four weeks. But we have two trucks. We have a juice truck and then a snack truck. And again, the schools we are placing are Ferndale, Gladstone, Hayford, and Isley. All right, so now let's take a look at the conditions. The first condition tells us that snacks must be delivered to Ferndale at some time before they are delivered to Hayford. All right, so in snacks, so I'm going to write it down here by snacks, we know that Fern must come before Hayford, F before H, which tells us that H can't be first for snacks and F can't be fourth for snacks. The second condition tells us that Gladstone cannot be the fourth school to which juices are delivered. Pretty straightforward. Again, we know Gladstones can't be the fourth school for juices. The third condition tells us Gladstone must be the third school to which snacks are delivered. Again, pretty straightforward. Let's place Gladstone in three. Now we should notice that's going to create dual options for one and four in snacks. Because if we can't have H in one and we already place G in three, the only two possibilities for one now are F and I. Similarly, if you notice, we have F out of 4. G obviously can't be there because G has been placed in 3. Well, our only two options for 4 now are H and I. And then our fourth and final condition tells us that the first school to which the juices are delivered must be the fourth one to which snacks are delivered. All right, so our fourth condition here, whoever is 1 in juices is going to be 4 in snacks. And you notice we have placed in snack 4 H or I, which tells us that it must be H or I for juices in 1. And that would be the setup for this game. You notice we've come up with some nice deductions. So now let's go ahead and hit the questions, being very aggressive with the rules we've been given.